The animal kingdom is extremely diverse, so much so that new species are being discovered every single day. Today we're going to be looking at 10 unknown species that have just recently been discovered. Most of the entries on this list are barely a year old, so I'm pretty sure you've never heard of them. In fact, number one could just be the longest animal in the world, and it was discovered only a few months ago. Stay tuned to find out just what that is. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Twitter's new fungus. Who knew that discovering a totally new species of animal could be as easy as checking out your friend's Twitter posts? That is exactly what happened just a few months ago when biologist professor Anna Sofia Ribolira of the National Natural History Museum decided to look at her Twitter feed one day and chanced upon a photo that one of her friends from Virginia Tech posted. It was a photo of a species of North American millipede. To us, it's just another photo of a gross insect. But to Professor Rebo Lira's trained eye, it was still a gross insect, but something was a bit off. There were tiny black dots on the millipede's body. She then remembered that she had a few specimens of the same millipede back in the office, so she decided to look at them closely, and again she saw the black dots. It turned out that the dots were species of parasitic fungus that had never been documented before. The newly discovered parasitic fungus has now been given its official Latin name, Troglomyus twitteri. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Slytherin's New Pet Just this year, a new species of snake was discovered in the mountainous area of northeastern India. It was discovered by naturalist Zeeshan Mirza and his colleague during an expedition to Arunachal Pradesh, India's northeasternmost state, where the Himalayas have created and sheltered a hotspot of biodiversity. The mountains are home to large species like giant pandas and wild water buffalo, but also smaller, easier to miss creatures, like the newly discovered pit viper. It just so happened that Mirza was a big Potterhead, so he did what any diehard Harry Potter fan would do when he discovers a new species of snake. Give him a name straight from the book. Trimeresurus Salazar, or Salazar's Pit Viper, was named after Salazar Slytherin, one of the founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and the first head of the Slytherin House, who is the newest addition to the genus Trimeresurus, which includes at least 48 species of Pit Viper, which are named for the sensory pits on the side of their heads, not for their fondness of hiding out in underground secret chambers. This is not the first time that a Potter fan discovered and named a new species based on the book series. In 2012, Frances Harvey published her discovery of a new species of trapdoor spider, which she named, you guessed it, Aragog. Number 8. The Matamata's Lost Cousin Matamata turtles are weird, leaf-looking turtles that are indigenous to the Amazon. Since their discovery, scientists thought that there was just one species of these weird-looking turtles, but just this year it was proven that a second, previously unknown species actually does exist. Well, technically they've known of the species for years, they just didn't know it yet. It took some who said, hmm, these two Matamatas look a bit different, maybe I'll look into their DNA. It probably didn't go exactly that way, but I believe that's the gist of it. Anyway, based on the test, the second species of Matamata was discovered. The newly described species Chalus orinocenus inhabits the Orinoco and Rio Negro basins, while the species known as Chalus fimbriata is restricted exclusively to the Amazon basin. I'm no scientist, but it's amazing that they can find a difference between the two. They both look weird to me. Number 7. The Glow in the Dark Shark Sharks are probably the most adaptable of sea creatures. They can be found just about everywhere, in the shallows, in the open ocean, even in the deep sea where the pressure is about a thousand times more than on sea level. And that's not all. New species are constantly being discovered, some looking like normal sharks, some a bit weirder, like this species discovered in 2019. Researchers were surveying the eastern Gulf of Mexico to study what sperm whales eat when they collected a large sample of animals from the ocean's depths. Among the collection was a small shark that the team hadn't seen before. As it turned out, the animal was a previously undescribed species of pocket shark, named for its small size because of small pocket-like openings or glands found behind each of its pectoral fins. It is only the second species of pocket shark in the world. What's surprising about this shark is that it has numerous light-producing organs or photophores covering much of the body, which possibly helps the shark glow in the dark depths of the deep sea. Number 6. Minimum Minuscule and Miniature 
Back in 2019, herpetologists introduced to us three previously undescribed species of extremely small frogs from Madagascar. All of them extremely small at just a few millimeters long, which probably explains why they were only discovered recently. Due to their size, and probably because the herpetologists who discovered them had a great sense of humor, the three tiny frogs were aptly named Minimum, Miniature, and Miniscule. All of them belong to Mini, a genus that is also entirely new to science, which was probably coined just for these three new discoveries. The new frog species are known from just a handful of locations and may already be threatened with extinction. Researchers have recorded Minimum only in Manombo Special Reserve in southeast Madagascar, for example. While Miniscule is known only from the fragmented forests of St. Luce Reserve, the areas in which the frogs occur are also likely small, threatened, and declining. Number 5. Fish Market Find It's not every day that you find a previously undescribed species in a fish market, but that's exactly what Jeff Johnson, an ichthyologist with Australia's Queensland Museum, did. He had first heard of a mystery grouper 16 years ago, and since then received occasional photographs of the fish, which he thought was a potential new-to-science species. In 2017, when a fisherman sent Johnson a picture of the grouper yet again, Johnson tracked down the market where the fisherman had sold the fish, and then proceeded to buy all five individuals of the fish he found there. Then, together with his colleagues, Johnson analyzed the fish's DNA and compared it to those of related species in the museum. Finally, in a new paper published in 2019, the researchers confirmed that the grouper is indeed new to science, and they decided to name it the following name. Eponophallus fusca marginatus. Number 4. A discovery 20 years in the making. Have you ever known about something true for years yet no one believes you? Kind of like when you were a kid in the 90s and all of your friends think that the guy from Hanson was a chick, but you were positive that he was a guy, but everyone thought you were crazy, but lo and behold, you were right all along. This next story's kind of like that, I suppose. A spider was discovered in 1999, and there was something really peculiar about it. It liked to hang out with ants. It was found by Greg Broussard, who at the time was a Midwestern State University graduate student working at the Dowquest Desert Research Station near Big Rend Ranch State Park. He knew from the start that he had a new species on his hand, but he had to go through the proper process to find out. From there, the specimen went up a chain of hierarchy in the zoology world and puzzled professionals for decades. I'm not really sure what happened, but it took 20 years for the experts to find out that this was a totally new species of spider and release their findings in a paper published this year. It was named something I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, so just put it right up on the screen. And this is due to its close relationship with ants. These spiders actually live in ant nests, but what the ants get back from them being roomies is currently unknown. Number 3. The Crazy Beast of Madagascar Madagascar is a place full of strange and unique creatures. Scientists say that the island separated from the Indian plate about 88 million years ago. That means Madagascar is officially the world's oldest island, and it also means that the animals trapped there right after the split had to go do an evolutionary detour. That's the main reason why creatures from that island are so unique. But what we didn't know is that the unique creatures have been living there for far longer than we thought. A 66 million year old fossil has allowed scientists to describe a bizarre new species of mammal that lived in Madagascar during the time of the dinosaurs. They have christened it Adolatherium hoi, which in Malagasy and Greek translates into crazy beast. What makes the creature exceptional is its anatomical structure, which is a unique mosaic of features. For one thing, its peculiar teeth give very little indication of its ancestry, because they are nothing like those found in other mammals. For another, its vertebral column has more vertebrae than any of contemporary mammals. Then there are the strangely curved leg bones making it impossible for scientists to figure out how they moved. It is also unusually large compared to other mammals that coexisted with dinosaurs, which were no larger than present-day mice. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at a creature that looks very strange indeed. But is it a newly discovered species? Let's find out next with Number 2. A Strange Looking Dolphin The internet is littered with photos of unknown creatures washed up on some beach somewhere. However, chances are these photos are faked and are uploaded to fool the gullible, generate some hype, or for some, harmless fun. When I first saw today's photo, I was certain that it was another one of those faked photos. Then I did some research, and now I don't know what to think. The photo shows an unusual sea creature, which for the most part looks like a dolphin. However, unlike the dolphins we are all covering, there is no conclusive answer to what it is just yet. 
We'll just have to wait for scientists to identify whether this is an already known creature or something different altogether. Number 1. The Longest Animal on Earth During a recent deep-sea expedition off the coast of Australia, scientists have identified around 30 possibly new marine species, one of which is, if the measurements were accurate, the longest animal on Earth. The creature was identified to be a siphonophore, which isn't really a single animal, but a collection of many tiny creatures which are highly specialized to do a specific task, all of which working together for the survival of the colony. They are deep-sea predators that feed by dangling stinging tentacles in the water. Small crustaceans and fish unlucky enough to swim into this curtain of tentacles are paralyzed and reeled up to the body of the colony. Being made up of possibly millions of individuals, siphonophores have the potential to grow to massive sizes, but this one is the longest so far, measuring at an estimated 150 feet long. Did we leave any new discovery out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!